I was given two sets of speakers. Uh, one of my uh, clients from years ago sold his place and is moving uh, across the, the street into a condo and he didn't have room for giant speakers. So he showed up one day and said, hey, you want these? You can have them. So I said, sure. So I hooked up the first set today. We're going to take a listen to how they sound and see what I can do to improve them and uh, repair them in the future. So let's uh, take a look at the first set. I have a pair of Paradigm Titan speakers that were donated or given to me. I actually got another big pair of B&Ws as well, but uh, I don't know what shape they're in. Interesting on these, if we note the serial number, 172254 and 172255. So these ones were made consecutively. How often does that happen where you get a pair of consecutive speakers? I've been told that the guy that gave these to me um, got a little carried away with the volume and thinks he may have popped something. So I'm going to hook these up to an amplifier. We're going to take a listen to them and see how they sound. So I've got them connected to my Bluetooth amplifier. Let's just see how bad these sound. Woofers popped. He thought it was the tweeter, but it's not. It's the woofers that are popped. You can pop them apart and just take a look inside them. Um, see what woofer it needs and uh, see what uh, what one costs. The woofers will be readily available for this. I have another pair of paradigms that's got a pop woofer that I popped, unfortunately. Um, and I did it with a low powered amplifier that was not turned up that loud. It was an NAD amp and it was not turned up had the radio play and a good song came on and I cranked it up to about 10 o'clock on the volume control if that and uh, all of a sudden one of the speakers started sounding like this and the other speaker is still good so it's actually um, being used it's actually being used as, as an outdoor speaker just as a mono speaker because I say it's twin is pop I was hoping it was going to be the tweeter because I was thinking maybe the tweeters and woofers might be the same. The back has to be lifted up and it's easy to do it by just kind of getting something in here that you can wedge the back off and then the back will pop off revealing some fiberglass insulation and speakers. Speakers are glued in place and four screws. We'll pull the speaker out itself. Yes, they are that simple. Just a wooden box with a couple of speakers attached. And of course the crossover, which is just a, a choke and a resistor and a capa couple capacitors. One thing, one of the reasons I'm going through all this trouble of trying to get this glue out of here so I can get the woofer out is I want to examine, is it, the, is it the voice curl that shot or is it the foam suspension that's around the speaker? That's what I don't know, so that's why I'm working at getting this speaker out. I gotta break away all this glue that's around the edges here that's holding it in place. 
and then we can look at the actual driver itself because if it's just the foam suspension that usually can be repaired if it's a, if it's a split in the paper that can usually be repaired too I don't know what the damage is it could be that it was just cranked up and the foam suspension let go that's always a possibility oh, there we go the speakers out oh what do you know it looks like it's just a foam suspension excellent this it's probably repairable. That's more than likely what we're hearing rattling around is that uh, that foam. So very likely that's all that's wrong with this is and this speaker is repairable. Excellent. See how it sounds without the foam rattling away. I think I'm going to have to get some foam surrounds. I think the speaker is going to be just fine. My, the other paradigm that I've got that sounds just as bad as this probably is the same thing. The one that I blew. I have another set of them and I say I'm using one of them right now as an outdoor speaker just with one of these little Bluetooth amps on it. Actually, an internet radio amp. And the other one is uh, sounding as bad as this and it's more than likely just the same thing. As I say, I, I, I just turned it up a bit. I didn't even crank it up and all of a sudden it went pop. So more than likely the surround just disintegrated and when I gave it a bit of a workout, it just fell apart. And now it sounds like as bad as this. But now this one's not making that raspy noise anymore. I got to do now is I got to have to uh, get some surrounds for this and uh, then we'll finish this one up once I get the surrounds. Oh, until I finish this one up, I'm going to put this driver back into its case. We'll put the back on it. And uh, once I've sourced some surround units for it, foam surrounds, I will uh, we'll come back and we'll do this one again. So I will kind of put it back together like it was when I started. I have hooked it up again so it will turn on. And we'll just stick it together and put it up on the shelf and uh, when I get parts then I'll uh, redo them. Let's just say I'll do both of them. But. Uh, <laughs> Without the surround, if I hook the other one up, that it just doesn't have the sound it should have. Here's what I kick the bass in. Oh this 
one's shot too. This one's starting to rattle now. <laughs> yeah, so the surround is gone on both. So they got both got to be repaired. Now that one sounds better. Anyway, um, when you hear raspy sounding speakers, they're not always blown, but quite often the foam surrounds are. So uh, now you know, if you hear these things sounding bad like that, chances are it's just the foam surrounds. As I say, we'll pick this one up. I don't know when it's going to be. It could be a couple weeks, it could be a couple months. It depends on how long it takes me to source the foam surround and actually get them. And then once I get them, actually getting around to doing it. Um, I know there used to be a place locally that I could get the speaker surrounds. Uh, they're out of business though, so um, I don't know if I can get any more locally. I'll try. I've, I've got my feelers out to one of my clients that I do a lot of work for because he rebuilds speakers for himself. So uh, I sent him a message saying, hey, Wayne, where do you get your speaker surrounds from? And uh, might be able to uh, source some relatively soon and get these ones back up on the bench and we will service them then. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.